Hey guys, Rexor here, doing another and the second out of five battles on Empire Total War against Matt RT. Now this is the second battle and uh, it may look very similar to the first, that's because it's basically a rematch that we did. Um, basically after I defeated him, he was like, right, I've come up with a new tactic, let's battle. So you'll see what happens. Um, so I decide to set up everything on the left flank. So I've got my uh, four line infantry, my six line of infantry, five, my five line infantry there, uh, and then I put my two lifeguard on the far left. And I was basically wondering what I was doing. I was going to put my uh, oh no, these haven't been moved. Um, but yeah, so basically I just set up everything here. So I've got my superior line infantry here. General's bodyguard in the middle, and then I decide to set up my uh, artillery. Is going to go here as well. I, I I originally tried to put it on this little bit of hill, but it wouldn't fit, and it was sort of like oh. So I put it on this far flank, um, basically because its range is just massive. Literally, it's huge. Uh, give it a little bit of close ups because these guys look dandy like that. Uh, I do like the new uh, the models for Empire. They do look amazing, um, and also the fact that you actually get to see the uh, deployment compared to Shogun Two, where you don't. Here's my general mumbling with his horse with no head. It's pretty good. Yeah. So basically, and then I sent all my cavalry. Uh, well, I sent both my dragoons once again in this um, forest, and I put my two heavy, uh, not my heavy, my cuirassier. How do I say that? Cuirassier. That's how you say it. That's how you say it properly. It's a lot of French words in the uh, Napoleonic era, and uh, as a Frenchman, I can. can cuirassier. Right, so basically what happens is, he deploys in the complete opposite corner, so I see that I'm like, <laughs> oh dear. So he's got this unit of King's Royal Regiment, uh, here for some reason, I think he misdeployed them, or something. Uh, or he ran out of time, is probably the actual reason. So he's got his four cannons, he's put, he's sort of put all his men in a weird, packed formation, I, I don't really know why. Um, these dudes look pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the game's been on pause because he's talking to me. Oh, Steve, for some reason that pauses him because he's host. Got some more black watch here, and normal line infantry. And these uh, green jackets, the rifles. Some of them even have green trousers, except for these two. Who like mumbling. So basically what happens at this point is uh, I just move in my army up here I show him that I've got some cav here just to and because I'm moving there I'm sort of trying to entice him to move towards this area so I can counter him with my dragoons so I'm moving I'm just moving my troops right now uh, these cannons still uh, these are gonna move as well eventually I haven't moved them yet uh, but I will do I think I move them uh, here yeah I think I move them up here uh, but that takes a while, so I'm actually going to accelerate because um, there's a lot of not much going on in the beginning. Because obviously he we set up on opposite sides of the battlefield. So one thing about this game that I don't actually particularly like is the fact that this uh, you can't see on the map. Uh, it's a circle map. It's no, it's okay. And uh, in game. You, I don't know why, I think it, it might be an option I disabled, but you can't actually see it. So, whatever. Anyway, uh, enough of me saying bad things about this game because it's a pretty good game. So, yes, yeah, so I'm moving up. Moving up in a line, I'm lining up uh, in the way that everyone should if they play this game. Don't pack up your men, it covers. You need, you need your men to be at least. But well, preferably, you want it to be. Two, uh, two lines, two rows, uh, to have it like really wide and only two thick, 
because uh, that's, that's the minimum you can do because that allows you to have every single man on the front row fire. However, there are units I know that can kneel, uh, but I don't know which ones they are. And uh, those you can put in three ranks. <coughs> so at this point, he moves up his cavalry. So let's go into normal speed. Moves up his cav um, slowly, and I've set up my set up my artillery um, already, or, or I'm going to very shortly. Um, because I move, I move them up, and I've also put my uh, Jagers here to cover them. So here I am going to set up my artillery. I'm going to aim towards his general, and uh, so he sees my uh, cru say, <laughs> cru It's a hard word to say. Cru uh, so he's going to slowly advance towards him because I can't do anything with my infantry, and he forgets about these. We do know he chose armor. Basically, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. Uh, so my cannon's first shot of the game, and it's just like, what the fuck happened? So he's going to start running, and then he's going to go, oh, I just lost a lot of general. Uh, I didn't actually kill his general, though, which is seriously uncool. I think he's somewhere. Oh, I don't think he's somewhere, I know he's somewhere. Where is he? Oh, he might have died. Oh, I don't know. I don't know now. I, I don't know. Yeah, so I, I shoot again and I kill a lot more of these. My Karen's in this battle. Compared to the last battle, did it amazing. Oh, camera movements. So I was just like, yeah, but um, here I did a complete error. Uh, I was sorry, I was busy over there, but he came close to these and I moved my dragoons out and I sort of unhid them so he moved them back and he was like, oh, those dragoons could have fucked me up. It's like, yes, yes, they could have. Uh, so I was a bit pissed off due to my lack of patience. I should have waited longer. Uh, probably waited until they were actually in combat with these Quissier. Uh, Oh, I keep forgetting this thing. But anyway, so my cannons keep firing. They're now, uh, these were in range of the arc. Now they're out, so they're really inaccurate when you're out of the range. However, the range, I think, goes up to about here. So if he came any closer, I'd be able to. Here he's also got some pikes down uh, by these, probably by his uh, rifles, actually. Uh, this is good against cavalry charges, but... As you can see, I'm not really cavalry orientated. I have a lot of infantry. Uh, and then his cannons start firing, and they fire at my uh, dragoons. Nearly taking down one of them. Barely missing, though. It was very close. Yeah, so basically from here, you can't actually see that that's the edge of the map. You need to get really close, and then you can see it, and you're like, oh, good. Uh, and I find that annoying. Because, I mean, in Rome Total War, you see where the edge is, wherever you are. Right, so I'm moving forward. Uh, I don't think I'm running though. Not, not, not the present. Um, it's not really. I do, I do start running. Um, here, I also I start aiming at his cannons uh, because I need to get rid of them. He doesn't hasn't lost many men. Uh, no, he's only lost. He's lost a lot of horsemen from from the early thing, which. When I saw it, it was like, wow, that is a shot in a million. I wouldn't even know I haven't even played that many Empire games. This is only my uh, second online one, so. Uh, so, yes. So, at this point, I've pretty much covered most of the map by walking, and my guys are still eager, and they're still fresh. Although, everyone here is, is coming close to his cannon, so... I'm definitely in range of his cannons now, and uh, but he's aiming at my general. I'm, my general is out, and he's on a ridge, as you can see. So it's going to be hard for him to actually get my general here. Uh, this is totally not purposeful. Um, I didn't actually know that there's a ridge, but now that I see it, I'm pretty happy it's there. Uh, 
good movement. Oh uh, wow! Never before is a Total War game that I've played had uh, ridges that actually did things. I also love the bounce of uh, the cannons. I just think that's such a such an awesome thing. Oh, and here he basically just pays back. Uh, doesn't come a general though. You can see because he's dressed in black here. Uh, but I rush him forwards. Well, I don't rush him forwards. I make I make him run. I don't know. If, yeah, these are running now. I'm trying to get everyone as close as possible. Um, and these I've ordered to attack the general's bodyguard because uh, I don't know if the general's dead at this point. Um, but I think he is. I don't know. Yeah, get a few shots off, but it's not enough. I mean, it, dragoons are really hard to control, um, and most of the time, I mean, my dragoons at this battle just kept getting in the way, and kept getting attacked, and I was like, for God's sake, just get get on, get on, skirmish boys. Here, yeah, I charge my crusade, uh, crusade, crusade, <laughs> yes, crusade. Yeah, that is how you say it. Kriasi. I've probably said that like several times over the course, um, but whatever. So my men are getting butchered. Um, he's going straight for my general, and here, out of pure luck, he completely just tears through my general, who's like sprawled over his horse. Cannon to the chest. He would probably have been blown up completely. But then I move my men forward. And as you can see, I've, I'm I'm on a three rank slash three and a half rank. Um, well, I'm on a four rank with one rank three and a half, and I'm already um, going overlapping him. So at this point, uh, my people can just go there, and that's how you win. You basically, and also a great thing about um, having more ranks is, as you can see, only the front row actually fires, and then they go down, and the second row fires. And the third row fires, the fourth row does nothing most of the time. Also, if you saw his scatter shots, which I'm, I'm firing off at his um, cannons to try and stop him from firing me, but his scatter shots mean that bigger ranks will kill more men, which is kind of annoying. Um, but that's how it works. I mean, you can't. That is how it works. <laughs> that's why That's why small ranks are better. Now, against a cavalry charge, uh, small ranks suck. Yeah, he's firing off, shooting a lot of them. They get one more shot in, killing a good, a good tally. Um, and here, just devastating. Look at that. My lifeguard just completely annihilated by like two joint shots. And he's, I've got some rear line infantry on the, on the flank. Yeah, I think I've got some on the other flank. No, just line of normal infantry. But basically I try to circle him and um, because of bad micromanagement on my half, um, instead of just placing them there, uh, see they're, they're just there and then badly placed, whatever. Should have kept them in a straight line, probably would attack these better. Um, so at this point I've lost my cab, I mean I've only got this, I think these are Dragoons, they're chasing these. Uh, so also bad on his half because I get all my attacks, but I think I'm getting fired at by um, the cannons from really far away. Here once again, something that he likes doing is going into melee uh, with my men, uh, but my lifeguard is so much better, because I mean, they, they're quite superior troops. So yeah, and then he gets a good rear charge of my superior line infantry, and that's like, ah, uh, bollocks. Uh, but I have my dragoons out, so I just stick them there, get ready to fire in. Um, so you can see a little volley. One shot. Oh, there we go. Here we got a uh, few going down there. It's pretty effective. Uh, and over here, I let my uh, superior line infantry fire into my lifeguard and the line infantry of uh, Matt R. And he's going to take more damage because he's getting fired on. Uh, here he sends in a unit of line infantry, which I'm going to fire in. Uh, this means that he's left. He's pretty much. Because he's gone in straight there. He's pretty much left this bit open for the picking. Uh, I mean, I don't know him, although here he did charge in his black watch. 
I still have my cannon. Uh, it is still firing. It's not doing much. Good. Um, yeah, it's, it's mostly combat orientated right now. I've only got a few units out of combat firing at these uh, King's Regiment. And then here I just do a breakthrough. All this cavalry is dead. And I'm like, yeah. So uh, I can overlap him around the side. Uh, so that's something something you don't want to do. If you're going to go in combat, don't put multiple units. I mean, here there's three units on one, which allows me basically there's two units that I haven't that I've got extra uh, running a mock where these could have turned. You want you want a one on one thing, uh, and I think that's really why I always came out on top against Matar. Uh, because my infantry, uh, because his infantry always attacked in mass, which could be good against, like, say, weaker opponents, because that just destroys one unit and allows the other ones to run amok. Once that's destroyed, you can just go in through the lines, go around and annoy everyone. But as you can see, I've got there's a one on one unit here, but because of these two units there, and all his cavalry is dead by now as well, and he's got quite a few units lost. Uh, so, you know, it's not going well. And here, I've got my uh, my line infantry parked in front of his uh, King's Royal Regiment. Um, yeah, so I'm going to set off a few shots, hopefully. Well, whatever. I've also got my um, Light Dragoons there to attack him from the rear. Oh, why should from the front? And there he gets a good full volley. And he starts rapping. So now I've got two parts of my army here. Something really bad happening, and that's the fact that my present Jaegers, my spear line infantry, and my lifeguard all out from absolute devastating losses. Which means, so although you know he's done a lot of damage on this side, but I've I've won this side. I mean I've got more units. This definitely was closer. This battle definitely was closer than the last one. Um, but. I mean, I was confident by the, when I saw that he had put all his units in combat and the amount of dudes he had left. I just knew that, you know, I'd won this. And anyway, I, I have to, I have to admit um, that Light Dragoon is probably one of the useful units in this game. <laughs> so useful. Uh, but basically. In Rome Total War, uh, missile units, missile cavalry is okay uh, to a limit because this mostly missile cavalry doesn't actually do that much damage. But because this is like guns and all guns do pretty much the same damage, um, it's really useful to have horse cavalry, horse cavalry, gun cavalry. Uh, so yeah, so I've won at this point. Um, he's all his units are fleeing. Um, yeah, that's about, that's about it. I've still got one unit of thing. And there we go. So, as you can see, uh, the kill's much closer than the last game. Uh, and his loss is pretty much over because he probably killed a few of them. men, looks like me. Um, unit statistics, my kills once... Well, my line infantry got the most, um, which is pretty good. Superior line infantry. Life, lifeguard didn't do so well this time. Uh, and on lost... Lifeguard lost the most. So yeah, so thanks for watching guys, and uh, another three battles against him. The next one is probably going to be the funnest, and then the last two are sea battles. Um, so I hope you enjoy, and I shall see you next time.